Hello and happy October everyone. This is KK has a lot to say and I'm here to bring you another reading from my friend Rena. If you like what you hear and see, drop a comment and I can give you any information you'd like on a reading. You can also check me out on TikTok at Chrissy underscore K baby, um, where there are chances to get free readings. Uh, you can join a subscription and there's lots more information over there. But let's get to, let's get to. Um, today I'll be doing a very general reading. It's a Celtic cross or a Celtic spread. Um, basically it just gives people an insight on, you know, guidance on their life. There really doesn't need to be a typical question. Um, as I've stated in the previous uh, recording, I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. Um, I've been uh, reading tarot cards now for almost a year and a half, two years. Um, I find that I am able to read people's energy pretty well. Um, and I've done so just meeting them on the internet and uh, I've got some pretty great reviews, more so over on TikTok. So that's where you would have to go to really check me out um, if you're interested. So uh, I can't really turn the camera around here. It's a low budget production, but hey, we got to work with what we got. So this is what the spread looks like. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as I go over the 19 pages of notes that I took, because I also pulled some oracle cards to kind of clarify some of the answers that I got with the tarot cards. Um, You'll see how everything comes together. So how I think this works, in my opinion, it's in the cards. The magic is in the cards. The cards really guide the reading. I shuffle the cards. The cards fly out. Um, and I simply read them. Um, I did learn by, you know, studying the cards reading from the books, but really, uh, you know, you learn to look at the card and use your own interpretation. So that's what I do. Today I will be using um, what I mainly use, the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann, highly recommended, especially for beginners, very magical. And my new Oracle deck, Energy, by uh, Sandra Ann Taylor. So that's the Oracle deck. Okay, I am going to set you guys down and hopefully you will stay and we'll get going. Hope everybody's enjoying their day if you're watching this. And at the very least, please subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, let's see. Do I have you guys up? Getting really fancy here with uh, sitting you up straight. Sorry. Like I said, got to work with what we got. Got to work with what your mama gave you. Someday I'll learn how to edit out all the crazy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. So, okay, Rena. So when I do these readings, I um, I cleanse the energy. Oh, you guys are still crooked. 
I don't like, I don't like. You know what? There we go. Okay. I wanted you plugged in just in case, but I think we're good. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I cleanse the reading with, or I cleanse the cards with, um, you know, typical sage, and I, I use my prophecy stone. Um, I have amethyst. I also use holy water. I'm Catholic. I say like a little prayer. I try to keep, you know. Um, this very light, fun, entertaining. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, so Rena, this is your reading. So um, I showed you how what the spread looked like, and I sent you a picture. So let's go, and I'm going to read you the questions how the Celtic um, spread goes because there's questions to the Celtic spread. Some people who read tarot cards don't go by it generally, but I do at this given time because this is how I learned. So the first card is the heart of the matter. It's what's currently happening in your life. What's your situation? What's your emotional state? Okay. Um, and you got the Ace of Cups. So, usually, I would say, well, you're all in love, and, you know, you just head over heels, but that that's not the energy that I got off of this card. So, and I'm sorry if I'm going to read from this, because I did this reading a while ago, um, and, and these are my own notes. So everyone sees this to me is, um, an emotional release. Okay. Fresh emotional energy, overflowing feelings for someone about something usually equated, um, to an emotional release, feeling better. Uh, that's what I got. Um, like you talked things out, you have a burden gone, um, you're starting to feel more self-love. Either way, your cup, so to speak, um, is starting to be full again. Um, you have a lot to offer, probably more than you give yourself credit for. You need to really forgive any flaws that you think you may have. Um, you have to be more accepting of yourself. I think you're really hard on yourself. Self-love is most important in any situation. We for, we tend to forget that, um, you know, we tend to forget that we have to come first, even though we put everyone else first because, you know, we're mothers. That's what we do. Um and again, I will send you a picture of this spread when you send me your information. Because I don't think I sent it to you on TikTok, or I did. I might not. I'm not sure. Anyway, okay. No more distractions. Um, so... At first, I thought this might be a friendship, but I'm thinking, and then work came into play, but I'm thinking this has to do with a romantic relationship that uh, you you started to open your heart and allow yourself, um, excuse me, uh, I've been sick for weeks to feel, but you were pushing your feelings aside. And you have to figure out why you have them and what you're going to do with them. And you have to follow your heart. 
so you can continue to have this overflowing love, okay? Um, allow, allow your heart to guide you more. Don't hold it inside. Um, and a feeling may lead you to a better place. And, and I get goosebumps because when you when you see how this reading's going to come together, it's just amazing. Uh, what I got from this is don't be worried or afraid. And you did mention in, I think you did mention to me that you were in a funk. And I, I feel that you're getting yourself out of it. And when I pulled the first oracle card that goes with this, Interesting enough. Anxiety came from it. But. I'm going to have to switch back. 19 pages also. <laughs> um. The storm is in the distance, okay? And and you're starting to let yourself relax. Although you are in a funk, and I'm not sure if you do suffer from anxiety, okay? Um, whatever emotions you are feeling, you have to let go. And easier said than done. But the anxiety or the pressure or whatever's held up inside, I have a really strong feeling that you're starting to speak up more and, and let things out. And don't be afraid, and, and this goes for anyone, and I'm not a medical doctor or a therapist. I mean, I do work in the field. But if, you know, if it is ever you know you you say you got into a funk but if it is anything more than that it's always very helpful and healthy to speak to someone more than just friends sometimes friends are okay but a therapist a counselor um a professional if need be even if it's not that people think it has to be completely serious but it does not i just thought it was very interesting that this card came out with the ace of cups and again, I'm really sorry about the cold, guys. Oh, and a ladybug landed. That's good luck. So the second card is the challenges, okay? What stands in your way? What needs to be resolved? The Nine of Cups came out. So that would be this card. The Nine of Cups. And this can be known as the Wish card. Um... But you may be lacking the appreciation you feel of what you deserve. At home is what I'm getting. Not at work, not with friends, at home. I just keep getting home, 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 home. You're very content, but it's more of a comfortable content. And... You're lacking appreciation is what I feel. And the sky's the limit is what kept coming into my head. Again, what are your emotional needs? And there's a theme to these cards that keep coming out. Think of wishes that have come true in the past. And wishes may seem corny. But think of things that you have asked for that have come true in the past. Because what we put out into the universe happens a lot of times we're more negative than we are positive and not to say that all bad things happen but if you want something bad enough you can make it happen just by speaking it um manifestation is real uh you know are we going to create ourselves with a unicorn in the living room no but you know it is a proven fact if you go in and you say, say you're going to a job interview and, and you you prepare yourself and, and you tell yourself you're going to get this job, you're 
can I get this job? Can I get this job? Can I get this job? Chances are, you know, you're going to be a lot more successful in the interview and probably a better candidate than someone who's like, huh, ah, you know, the Debbie Downer, the negative Nancy. So, you know, just think about that. Think of the things that you've asked for in life that are positive, that you've gotten good results with and try to be more that way. If you can understand. Because that wish card says, ask and you shall receive. Um, take a moment for yourself and, and you need to uplift your spirits. And like I said, anything can happen. I wrote it. Anything can happen if you want it to. Dreams can come true. You have to start enjoying the moment. How you feel will open the doors to more of those feelings. Happiness breeds happiness. Okay. So the third card is the past. What past events are shaping the current situation? You got judgment. And this was also very interesting because of um, card three and five with, and I'll wait to do the Oracle card. So you got judgment. So judgment is look I put, look beyond what once held you back, okay? Because judgment doesn't necessarily mean that someone's judging you. But what held you back in the past? What's holding you back now? Um, I do believe that you, there's, there's something inside that's awakening you. You're having an awakening. There's more of a self-awareness. Um... And I do believe that you are starting to follow your heart from what I'm taking from these cards. But still, there is something holding you back. Maybe children, um, maybe control. And, and, and these are just guesstimates. This is not me for anyone else who may watch this. This is not me knowing anything about Rena's life. Um, it could be your beliefs, but it, I have a strong feeling that something is, is holding you back and that there's a really big decision to be made or a step to be taken that is really hard to make. But it's time to move forward with it. It's time now. Um, and there will be challenges. There's, there's going to be challenges. This is the judgment card. She's underwater. She feels like she can't breathe. But she does free herself, just like we do. I mean, think about yourself going underwater and, and you know, just jumping in a pool, jumping in a lake, jumping in a, an ocean, and then you come up and you gasp for air and you're fine. Or you just, you know, you have that ah, feeling. That That's what I got from it. Like, you know, she'll be okay. She's going to, you know, she's going to have that, ah, I'm okay. You know, that's what I kept get, getting. I'm okay. Excuse me. And you can't, and, and for some reason, something in your past is dictating your future too. And, and please, and, and let me know if I'm wrong about this. You either know what this is already, or you've had subtle hints. Meaning, um... the challenges that you'll face. Like, there's hints to what the challenges will be, is what I'm saying. Again, I wrote, strong decisions must be made. Strong decisions, strong decisions. And I and I said, pull an oracle, which I did. Um, and I'm going to just keep it here for one second until we get to the other card. Um because we're going to get there. We're going to get there. 
then we're going to wait on that for a second. So just keep that in mind. Again, strong decisions, making a decision, moving forward, moving forward, make that decision. Four is the conscious, the now. Where is your mind at the moment? What are your assumptions? What's the focus? And you got the emperor. And, you know, feel free. You can look all these cards up and you can get your own interpretation of them right on Google if, if you'd like. What I got from this card for you is, of course, this card does stand for a masculine energy. Um, usually cards that have a male or a female, I say, don't pay attention to the gender. It doesn't matter. In that particular card and in the Empress which did come out, um, that does hold true to masculine energy. Um, the emperor provides structure. So I have a feeling that there is a person in your life currently who is very protective Maybe not so much over you or maybe over you. And and I'm I'm kind of leaning and I don't know this to be fact, obviously, because I really don't know much about you at all. I don't know anything about you, <laughs> really. But I don't know if this is your children's or child's because I don't know if you have more than one's father that you may be currently with or a, a person that you have been with for a long time who may be in the household or you've been dating or maybe the children's or child's father who has been absent um, and then there's someone in the house that's been protective and that masculine energy that has been providing structure and now there is things that you're not expressing to this this person and you're feeling a pull there's a conflict between your mind and your heart right and the underlying message here is that it's it's basically that you're just not putting yourself first again um are you happy if not only you hold the answers um and you know what to change And, sorry if you hear the noise outside. If it's a comfort thing, is it worth going on the rest of your life? Being comfortable and not happy or happy and a little uncomfortable for a while. And, you know, then finding, you know, what makes Rena happy again because and I think I, I wrote it in here at some point if if you're worried about the children the children are going to be mad if, if it's a father figure or their father if, if I'm on point because I just keep getting that um or anything to do with a male figure kids are going to be kids and they think they rule us my my children do if I you know, my kid's father, just a little background, he's married and it's okay for him to have someone in his life, but God forbid, you know, I do. Kids are always going to, especially with my oldest, are always going to um, try to protect their mom. And, you know, that might be where their protection came in. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you have an older son... So five. So this this is where I'm gonna pull the. I'm gonna show you the um, oracle card for that. For the judgment card and this. So you, this is for future. Okay. What is likely to happen if nothing changes? What are short term possibilities? You got the two of pentacles. 
I got chills when I pulled this card or flew out. complete unbalance okay like I said I got chills um and honestly because I accidentally pulled number six and I got them confused and it didn't make sense because I put um where I have the empress which makes sense when we get there so when it came out and I, and I put it where it went. I was like, that doesn't sound right. But for future, the Two of Pentacles, instead of the Empress, I was like, okay, now this makes sense. So, okay. It's right now, I, I feel like there is, and the ladybug is back on the paper. I'm telling you, you got some good luck. I'm going to put that right here on the Empress. See? You got a good luck, ladybug. You know what? I'm going to put it on the anxiety card for you. I mean, how cool is that? It's a card of being unbalanced, uneasy, feeling um, an uneasy feeling. You will maintain your resources. If you are afraid of financial burdens that's going to be all figured out that's going to work out i if there's one thing that i always say in life money works out and pentacles do stand technically for money it well finances etc they will work out money works out um and it, I wrote money came to me and it, it uh, I can't even read. Money won't be of worry. That's what I wrote. I, money and I put an X won't be of worry. Um, you're being pulled in many directions. You have to learn to say no. And th this isn't in the masculine energy, energy direction. This is in outside life. No is not a bad word. This is you focusing on other stuff outside. Like maybe birthday parties or uh, just engagements. Things that you don't want to really do but feel obligated to do. Say you can, if You're allowed to say no. You're allowed to say no and say no. Um, save. Save your money. You don't have to go to every birthday party, every engagement, every online. I can't tell you how many pampered chef, and I'm just using examples. You would know what resonates best, um, but you can say no. No is not a bad word. I learned that a long time ago, and believe me, it was so freeing. Um, you value your family the most, and you put your concentration there, which is amazing. But if you don't put yourself first, you can't take care of them best. Not to say that you're not taking care of your children best. We're always going to take care of our children best. We can be a mess. We'll always take care of our children the best. But you got to remember you still have to take care of yourself. And then I put save money where you can. Uh... And I feel like there's something that you have to pay off that you're worrying about. Maybe with this masculine energy, there's something in your names together. I don't know if you're married. Um, but there's something that may be worrying you. And it's funny because the ladybug has now crawled to the oracle card that I've been waiting to pull. Which is contract. So, do you see now that these okay, hang on. 
little ladybug did you fall off? Let me get to my page of notes. And is 19 a significant number for you? Okay. And I haven't gotten, I haven't even gotten to the best or to the Go. Oh, it's crawling on the back. <laughs> okay. Where is okay? I'm sorry. Oh, I know. I wrote it down over here. That's why. I'm sorry. Old. Put it in my book. Okay. So it's the scales of justice, and they're now even. Okay. It's some kind of contract, as it states. It's a commitment made. You'll be signing something. But it's going to make... I pulled it with this in judgment. It's going to even you out. Whatever you have to sign, whatever contract you're in, and this could be a marriage... And, and maybe it doesn't have anything to do with signing, but, you know, contract, relationship, you know, there's some type of situation that you've been in for a long time. It could be a house. It, it could be a multitude of things. But whatever you get out of evens the scales. And I just, I really did get goosebumps again because when everything was so unbalanced and the judgment card came out and I pulled this oracle card and saw that the scales balanced out after the contract was, you know, null and void, basically. And, you know, whatever contract that may be. And, and the options are endless. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a contract. This is a metaphor basically. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure to ask me later, but hopefully you understand. Um, I just, I, I thought that was pretty amazing. Now for the unconscious. So we did the conscious, now we're on to the unconscious. What truly drives the situation? What are the hidden factors? Okay. The foundation of all of this. So this is your unconscious mind. And you got the empress. This is the feminine energy. This is actually the equal to the emperor. And they, when I send you the picture, are on opposite ends of each other. Okay? Um, So this, lead, this leads me to believe that your conscious mind and now unconscious is in fact 
about an intimate relationship and unconsciously you know it's it's in the back of your mind that you know because the empress is also very intuitive um trust her gut which you're not also and it's interesting because the high priestess came out So I, I definitely feel it's about your an intimate relationship that you're in. Very protective of your family. This, the Empress, is all about family. So it shows a woman who's pregnant. Um, you know, it does it is a fertility card I'm not to say that you're pregnant. I mean, you could be, not to say that you are, but she's a mother. She is the divine feminine. Um you're going to be entering a time of divine healing as well and blessings. So when this card appears, you're on the right track. Keep moving forward. Um, and it usually means that there's a better future to come. So if you're worried that you're making the wrong decision, if you make a decision based off of fear, let me say that in a different way. If you make a decision right now, okay, and you fear something, it's going to be okay, is, is what the cards are guiding me to tell you. Okay? You're on the right track. And, and fear is just fear. You know, we turn the lights off at night and... Some things are more scarier in the dark and then in the daytime they're not. It's the unknown. We're scared of the unknown. Um, but from the cards that I've pulled, things are going to be okay. Uh, I pulled... Okay, before I do this oracle. Um, so number seven is the current, which means you. What's your view? Does it affect the situation? You got the high priestess in reverse, which I usually don't read them in reverse, but it made sense in your situation because you don't trust your gut. The high priestess is usually very, if it was this way, which it wasn't. It was this way. The high priestess usually is very intuitive, very on top of um, knowing what's what's right, trusting their gut, going with uh, the clues, so to speak. For some reason, you're not trusting your gut in certain situations. Um, when in the upright, has the ability to be intuitive, led by dreams. Um, I don't know if you have dreams, which is quite interesting because I, the Oracle card, and I'm, you can tell me later after you see this, um, but if this was upright, which I believe it could be, but you're ignoring it that there's things also coming to you in your dreams that you're repressing. You're repressing your feelings. You're repressing things that are coming in your dreams. That there's a bunch of signs that are coming to you about this big decision that you need to make. And you're ignoring it. Or you've made a decision and you have a lot of guilt towards it. And you're kind of shying away from that decision. So the decision may have been made already. But the second part of the decision, so say, uh, like I said, say there was a guy, man, husband, children's father, say you've left him and there was another man, as these cards will indicate in the end, you may be shying away from getting into that relationship, another relationship, because you're not trusting your gut. Go with your gut. God underneath there. 
not pushing you, just saying. Do what's best for you, though. If it's not what's best for you, don't do it. If you don't feel it's best for you, don't do it. Because we have the right to be alone also. Take time to heal. If this resonates with you. I think that you were feeling a really huge disconnect in family. Maybe work too. Work came a little bit out of this. Like with the unbalance and the uh, the trust in your gut. I will say that. So I don't know if there's something with work with a disconnect also. Um, but I feel like in either, like I said, a current relationship or previous relationship, if a decision has already been made, you weren't being heard. And this, this gives me literal goosebumps. You have to use your voice. And, and then I circled disconnect. And, and I'm not even joking. You have to use your voice and disconnect. The card that came out was fifth chakra, which is your voice box, your voice. The fifth chakra is your voice, okay? Archangel Gabriel, listen to this. So, so amazing. This one I did a little more research on for you. New beginnings. The fifth sh chakra I did know was your throat. Archangel Gabriel is an angel that comes to give you your voice. We talked about dreams. He comes to you in your dreams. Okay, he is there to help you speak your truth, sending power to communicate. This angel opens you up to truthful expression. Speak up for yourself. I also then got the sense to tell you to journal, maybe, or write like skits. You know how you used to, I don't know if you did this practice, what you were going to say in the mirror, that type of thing. Um, and this card usually comes up when there needs to be a heightened communication with other people. Look for these signs. Um, white feathers, intuition, things that you feel. This could be this angel. And I'm not saying you may not be religious. You may not be spiritual, but. Just seriously, this could be signs from Archangel Gabriel, okay? Um, just, again, the intuition that was lacking, so said the cards. And again, I could be completely wrong, and you have to let me know. Sudden solutions that just appear and come up, like, oh yeah, great idea, let's do that. Uh, and he is also the angel of love and communications. And I don't know if I said new beginnings. Also look for white feathers. I'm not sure if I said that. So if you see white feathers, that is a sign. And anything in a form of a trumpet. A trumpet. And blue and purplish lights also. Go to the next one. I have a feeling this is going to take a long time to upload to YouTube. Oh, with that too, being you, I feel like you you said I should have, I could have, lots of that. Like I should have, I could have, but it's never too late. Just know that it's never too late, never too late. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay? Eight. What are the external influences? So what is the environment surrounding this situation? Okay? 
You got the lover's card. Now, people will think that this just means there's lovers, right? No, not necessarily, okay? That card represents choices and relationships, unconditional love. The relationship depicted in that card shows what trust looks like. Look how comfortable they look with each other, staring in one another's eyes. That's comfort. Choices are at the center of this card. Do you want to spend your life with a person who you're comfortable with? Or who, or who you're not. Or if, if, if this has nothing to do with a romantic person at all, do you want to spend your life in a situation that you're not comfortable with? Because there's something that was very unhealthy. There was an unhealthy dynamic and I, I put assess, 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 must assess, make a choice. And then there's a commitment. Um, the Oracle card that got pulled for that. Was attachment. Before you can move on from anything in life, whether it be a relationship, a bad situation, anything in life that you want to move past to make better. Do you see how she's chained and she has that mask? Well, she's already halfway there. She took that mask off. She's revealing a different side of her. Now she's just got to release herself from that chain. And what I wrote are you willing to break the chain? Because it'll be a whole new energy. But if not, that energy will repeat. Negative energy breeds negative energy. And we all sometimes have a mask on, you know, we have that facade. I've been in situations, work, school, home life, where I wasn't happy and you smile anyway. She's already taken the mask off. Are you gonna break free from a chain? Is what I get from that. Are you, are you gonna be attached or not? Also, an oracle card that came out was Healer of Ages because this goes with number nine, hopes and fears. What do you secretly desire? What are you trying to avoid? And you got the Four of Pentacles. It represents stability. Okay. Proceed with caution. Again, fear of risk. You've made enough sacrifices in your life. Do you feel you will have you will never have enough? Although pentacles represent money or finances are you avoiding a sacrifice to maintain stability maintain sorry stability are you scared of losing something time to let go do you see the theme time to let go i kept getting time to let go you've held on long enough if you don't you're not allowing and this is crazy you're not allowing god's plan explore your insecurities and then he to me 
looks like Jesus Christ. I do not know what your religion is or what your beliefs are, but to me, this person depicted on this card looks like Jesus Christ. And I wrote in quotation, you're not allowing God's plan. Explore your insecurities. God's plan. I don't know if you could see that. So healer of the ages. Oh, wait. And then before that. So something makes you feel unsafe, I feel. Like a clingy person. Maybe not scared, but like... Not an unsafe feeling like, oh, somebody's going to hurt you, but just not confident that things are going to be okay. I just keep getting that. Uh, and just remember that physical possessions don't define us and that you can let go of some of these things or everything and you'll be fine. Um, success and money aren't the same thing, but I don't think... You need to hear that. I think somebody else needs to hear that. So the healer of all ages. Whatever you believe. So spiritually, religious wise. Is with you. Bringing resolution to physical, mental and emotional issues you may have. So any physical pain, any mental pain, any emotional pain. And he, she is there to help to unblock any stuck energy so you can move on in life. How crazy is that? That that came out. And so the last card of the uh, Celtic cross besides the back of the deck that I always pick is the outcome the summary what's the resolution what's going to happen theme or advice you got the knight of cups chivalry is not dead this is why I keep thinking it has something to do with romance this card represents romance. You deserve to be loved the way you love. You wear your heart on your sleeve. This man wears his heart on his sleeve. That card represents a man that wears his heart on his sleeve. A total romantic. A guy sweeping in and taking you right off your feet. Fast. Somebody you already know. Maybe a, a friend. Um, someone who's already in your life, I feel. But you just... Haven't made that choice yet. You have, but you haven't. Be ready to be in touch with your emotions is, is what I wrote. Be ready to be in touch with your emotions. If you allow this person to be in your life, you will experience a love of your lifetime, a true soulmate, like a puppy love. High school sweethearts, if you will. But it's your decision. And then on the back of the deck, you got the lover's card. It couldn't go any more perfect. And so this represents love, relationships, union, choices, commitment, and duality. It represents pure, unconditional love, one of trust, cups overflowing with love. Ironically, the first card that you got was the Ace of Cups with the love overpouring. But in the beginning, it was more of your emotions. This cup can turn into just ever pouring love for you and someone else. But remember, you have to love yourself first too, you know? And I, and I wrote again, this will be different than past relationships. And I just keep getting controlling, not fulfilling, unhealthy dynamics. I don't know why. I, I If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Please tell me. Um, and the last oracle that I picked, that fell out was walking away. Leaving behind the past. 
and that you do it. You walk away. You walk away from bullshit. You walk away from, and again, if it's not a man, you just walk away from the bullshit. That's, I'm just going to put it in layman's terms. You walk away from the bullshit. You close that chapter and you do what makes yourself happy. Whether it is love, work, I think, um, I think it's love. I think it has something to do with a male. I mean, I'm not sure who you date. I use male. Um, or who you choose to be in a relationship, rather. Uh, but that's how the cards chose to fall. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonates with you. If it did, please comment below. If it didn't, please comment below. And uh, if anybody else is looking for a reading, let me know. And Rena, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.